We just finished up the 15 shootout here at the Lone Star Regional Finals. It was an exciting short round. You want to stay tuned right here to the final spin to see what happened. Number 15 shootout is in the history books, and let's recap what happened right here at the Lone Star Regional Finals. We'll start with the ninth callback. It's Tanner Green and Tyler Sieber. Now, this team's a 27-11. They need to be an 8-16 to take over the lead of the roping. Tanner Green gets out on him. Tyler ropes him. They're 7-0-2, and with a 34-13, and they are the new leaders. From that, it's the eighth high back. It's Kyle Beach and his partner's Kip Harrell. This team of the 26-89 needs to be a 7-23 to take over the command of the average, and they rope the steer in a clean run, but they're 7-91. That's going to put them second. Fifth high team back is Tommy Davis and Joel Bach. Joel Bach, of course, the champ out of the open. Now he's on the heel side for Tommy Davis. They are 24 and 29. They need to be a 983 to take over first place. Tommy gets this one caught, and Joel puts a big old trap down there. They are 783, puts their total at 32 and 12, and they're the leaders. Third high team back is Andrew Wong out of the state of Hawaii. His partner is Wesley Moss out of Paradise, Texas. Now this team with a 23 and 60, they need an 873 to take over the lead. And when they rope this steer, they're 798. They're both living in Paradise. They're 3158 and number one. It's the second high team back. It's going to be Trent Tatum and Chris Young. They're 2338. If they rope the steer in an 819, they're the leaders. Rolling, baby. It's Trent Tatum and Chris Young. Trent with his part. Now, Chris, do the deal. Hey, hey, yes. How about a 780? How about number one at 3118? Yeah, baby, that's what I'm talking about. And we come to the high team back. We go now to Austin Robertson and Seth Jones. Can they do it again right here? Let's watch, Waco. Here's your high team back. Robertson, Seth Jones, who? Oh, Seth Jones. Well, misfortune strikes our high team back with the champions out of the roping, Trent Tatum and Chris Young, as they're going to take home $6,154 and brand new Martin Trophy saddles. Fran Lucero was with our champions to see what they thought about their big win. Trent, congratulations on your win today. Explain to me your experience that you've had here in Waco. Oh, I've always had bad luck here, you know. I just never couldn't really get anything done, and now I finally got a little luck, and I ended up with Chris, and we got it done. Well, it definitely worked out today. Tell me about your partner, Chris. How long have you been knowing this guy? Do you rope with, this, with Chris very often, or is this something you just kind of put together? Uh, we roped a little bit, but not. A, we haven't really been to any ropings, like the U.S. ropings here. We just, uh, I saw him a few months ago, and we talked about it, and we, we said, I think it'll work, so we went and entered. Now that third, uh, that third high callback team, Andrew Wong and Wesley Moss, they go out right before you guys and make a great run. Does, uh, does that change anything for you, change your game plan? What was your mental frame, uh, frame of mind after you seen that run? No, I really didn't even, I had pretty much blindfolded during the short round. I didn't really watch it that much. I just knew I was going to try to ping the start and make sure I made a, uh, handled the cow good for him. Well, Trent, you took care of business today. Congratulations. You're going to walk out here with a lot of money and a brand new Martin saddle. Congratulations. Thank you very much. I'm here with Chris Young, the number 15 shootout champion healer here at the Lone Star Regional Finals. Chris, excellent roping. You've been roping good all day. Tell me a little bit, besides a, a bowl of success for breakfast that you had this morning, what else said, separated you from the rest of the pack today? I just wanted to make clean runs, catch two feet, and win what I won. You just wanted to take care of business, use each steer for what they were worth. Uh, tell me about your partner, Trent. Seems like a great guy. Seems like he great handles guy. steers great. Tell me a little bit more about him. Man, Trent ropes good. We roped a bunch of little, little jackpots, and we talked, like he said, about a month ago, and he said, hey, let's rope over there. So we did, and I told him when we started, I was just going for clean runs. And he said, sounds like a good plan. We drew good on the last one and made it work. What was going through your mind when you seen that last steer go left? Man, I was just trying to stay off of him right there where he hit in front of me. I could come in there and just clean him up. Well, you beat, uh, you beat the field by four-tenths of a second. That was the only thing that separated first from second, but it's worth $6,000 today in a Trophy Martin saddle. Chris, congratulations. Thanks, sir. Well, thanks, Farron, and congratulations to Trent Tatum and Chris Young as they take home the big win of the number 15 shootout. Stay tuned right here to the final spin for complete coverage of the Lone Star Regional Finals in Waco, Texas.